Hello, good morning my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here again and I am so grateful that this uh, message was again sent to my channel and I am going to reshare this with you because this is so important for us to really leave the old system and old traditions. So the title of this is How the Jesus Myth Was Created, that is Cosmic Awareness, so that you know the truth, because this was the cause of our being fooled or going astray in our path. So here is now. Here it is now. So. How Christianity was started. This awareness wishes to remind you that the story of Jesus, the first written word, was that which was put down some 80 years after his existence on this plane. That it wishes also to inform you that the composite known as the entity Jesus was that which was put together from a variety of information. This awareness indicates that essentially, under Constantine, the concept of the Catholic or Universal, Catholic meaning Universal, religion, the official Roman religion, as that which was a composite of various religious writings which were brought together to form that which is known as the Christian religion. That many of the writings were assembled from various sources, and brought into and comprised those books of the Bible. The evolution of the Bible. This awareness suggests, there is a book by Lloyd Graham titled Deceptions and Myths in the Bible, that this book goes into the origin of the stories that have been related in the Old Testament, especially in the Old Testament, which were literally taken, in many cases word for word or concept for concept from earlier writings. For example, the story of Noah and his four sons having been taken from writings which long predated the stories in the Old Testament and which use terms and names for the sons which were identical to those reported in the Old Testament. This awareness indicates that the story of Moses as having been stolen from a Syrian myth that had come down in relation to an entity named Mrs. This awareness indicates that a great number of the stories within the Old Testament was simply the result of the Hebrew priests attempting to create a set of myths and stories by which they could organize their own religion, their own philosophy in order to form a more cohesive society in those days. This awareness indicates that the works of Lloyd Graham go deeply into finding these earlier stories from Babylon, which was the source of the story of the Garden of Eden, through Syrian and other cultures and Indian records and stories of India. This awareness indicates that even the New Testament is assembled from patterns related to stories taken from earlier sources, such as Zoroastrian, Mithraean, Krishna, Buddhism, and Egyptian, and others, in which many verses are literally paraphrasing earlier writings, and many of the stories attributed to the story of Jesus were lifted directly out of these other writings. The story of Jesus at the well, as one which was taken from earlier writings. This awareness indicates that it is of importance that entities realize the origins of the Bible did not come from the pen of God, but came from the earlier writings in different cultures and nations at the time these Hebrew priests put this work together. This awareness indicates that these countries who were plagiarized then became labeled as heathen, nations whose philosophies were heathenistic, but this was only after their stories had been stolen. How symbols influence entities? 
This awareness indicates that throughout most of this past 2000 year period of the Piscean Age, entities have become more inclined toward open and shallow interpretation of stories at face value, rather than looking more deeply at hidden meanings. It has been the advent of psychology to bring back the significance of symbolism, for in Freud's concern for the dream state, it emphasized the significance of symbols and as symbols began to become more significant, entities began to recognize symbolism in other levels that had previously been ignored or forgotten. This awareness indicates, however, in the past most of the emphasis in secret schools was on symbolism rather than on rational messages. This awareness indicates that the rituals that have been come down in churches, especially the Catholic Church are actually symbolism, the buying of the knee on the altar, and the various rituals that take place have certain symbolic meaning and this symbolism is that which the subconscious understand better than the rational mind. This awareness indicates that if entities cannot and do not receive training or teaching in the significance and meaning of symbols, they become victims of those who understand the power and control available through the manipulation of symbols. How the Jesus Smith was created First of all, you have to realize that Jesus was a composite of different entities and the name was chosen several hundred years later at the Council of Nicaea, wherein the entity Constantine ordered the various religious sects to come together and create a single religion for Rome a universal religion that incorporated all of the aspects of the various religions, so that all could accept and subscribe to it. The influence of Apollonius of Tyana, read also about Apollonius of Tyana, the real Christ. The invented story of Jesus. This entity Apollonius of Tyana is the central figure of a certain religious order that was prevalent at that time in Rome and his life was incorporated into the Holy Roman religion or Catholic version of the Christian epic which became the official Roman religion in approximately 300 AD. This awareness indicates that this energy of Apollonius was incorporated. There was also energies of several other spiritual leaders of Roman religious sects whose stories were also brought in and there were those spiritual personalities or deities from other Roman religious orders whose histories or religious myths came from other cultures. Krishna, for example, of India, was one of the religious cults and groups in Rome and his story was merged with that of Apollonius of Tyana. The story of Krishna, as that entity who came into the earth born of a virgin and who attempted to save people from error and sin, but who was hanged for his efforts. This awareness indicates that this was incorporated in the story of Jesus and the Apollonius story was also part of this story. And there were also entities whose religion was that of sun worshipping, wherein there was the sun and the twelve houses or signs, and these sun worshippers had their story of Jesus in which the sun god had twelve disciples and these twelve disciples of course reflected the twelve signs of those who were the sun worshippers in Rome. This was of course an astrological religion. The composite known as Jesus. This awareness indicates that the combination of the many different Roman religious orders or organizations, the different religious sects, forming a composite in which the central heroic character was the Son of God, having twelve disciples, being born of a virgin, whose intent and purpose was to help save mankind, and for his efforts, the entity was slain and put upon a cross, the entity also having certain miraculous powers, including that of those who can heal by touch, 
or rays from the dead or move into states of suspended animation, such as some of the masters of India have demonstrated in various times throughout history. Catholic Church tried to destroy Jesus and his family. Thus, one aspect of this composite known as Jesus moved west to India, and into Kashmir, and was recorded as having been the entity known as Jesus, and lived there to a ripe age. Another aspect of this composite moved eastward along with the Holy Family, and bore a child through Mary Magdalene. This awareness indicates this was known as the Holy Family, which the Catholic Church made every effort to eradicate and destroy and remove any trace of the information surrounding the entity, but which the Templars made every effort to preserve and to promote and carry on that holy bloodline, even to the point of some hundred years later, taking the Holy Family, the descendants of the Holy Family into the New World, through Newfoundland and into what was later to be called the United States. This awareness indicates that in this sense, the entity that contributed to the composite known as Jesus went westward, while another entity who contributed to the composite known as Jesus went eastward. This awareness indicates there were of course, still others. This awareness indicates that in attempting to discuss the story of Jesus in a traditional way opens a Pandora's box of discrepancies, when you approach or seek the truth of the matter, because the Jesus of the Bible, being a composite of many different entities, or several different entities, is not the true story. New World Order also creating a mythical Christ for the New Age. It is a creation of a myth for the people of Rome to center on, much as is now being created by the efforts of the New World Order to establish a new religious order, a one-world religion that all entities can use as a kind of compromise, whereby in time, the entity known as Christ and the Christian mythology, and the entity known as Muhammad and the entities of Eastern religions, from Buddha, to Confucius, to the various different religious leaders of different religions of the world will all be partially represented in a new composite. Whether this will be the culmination of a being known as the Antichrist for some, or the new Messiah for others, is still to be determined, but it is much like that action of trying to bring all religions together. This awareness indicates what occurred in Rome was a political effort by Constantine to gather the energies of conflicting religious groups and to bring them together to stop the warring and fighting between these groups that was tearing Rome apart. The action of Constantine was that he informed those religious leaders of the various warring sects in Rome that if they did not come together and join in some kind of compromise religion, their religion would not be recognized or legal in Rome. Thus, most of those came and put their best effort into giving their particular religious dogma and values and their deity into the compromise that was formed which became the Holy Roman Catholic religion, Catholic meaning universal. This awareness indicates that in this action, these entities were not totally satisfied. No one was completely satisfied but each had contributed part of their religion and they could feel secure that their religion would be preserved, buried in the Christian religion. The name Jesus was chosen as the name of the hero, or centerpiece of the religion because it meant neither he nor she. It was a neutral word. Many names including Zeus were considered. There were those who had proposed the name Zeus, but many objected because Zeus was a Greek god and the Romans wanted nothing to do with Greek gods. Therefore they sought to find a Roman name, or a name that was neutral, which Rome... So I have to cut this here.
this is to be continued. So, God loves you. God bless you. I love you also.